Hi, Matt. Welcome back to the shop, and I want to just let you all in on a little project that I'm starting to do. So here's some pictures of what I'm going to do while I'm talking about it. I stand back. There we go. So I can get most of it on the screen. So what I want, what I'm doing now is I'm taking some uh, two carbs I've got, and I am basically slicing them completely in two so I can stick them all back together again and do a video series, a close-up video series on how they work with a real carb, so we've got a three-dimensional representation so I can show you the flow, I can show you the different circuits like enrichment circuits, uh, pilot circuits, how some of the vacuum systems work you know, how some of the starter, uh, starter systems, so you can see the real thing basically instead of drawing it on here, they are quite complicated to draw I will go through the basic principles of each on the board more of like an evolution of carbs, so what the first ones look like and what they are, the different circuits and all the rest of it. But that won't represent the real thing because they're all three-dimensional and really hard to understand when you do that. Whereas in these ones that I'm cutting in half, um, we can easily see uh, this 3D uh, circuit and all the rest of it. I'll make it, um, you know, I'm, I'm slicing them in, in a certain way so we can get as much of a cross-section in there as we can. It's not always down the middle and so on. Um, but I can show you on here the theory of carbs of what a circuit does, uh, you know, quite simply. So I could just go, oh, well, here we have um, a Venturi like this, and then if we want to use a starting circuit, it's basically, you know, like this with an air vent and a fuel feed. And I can do that and show you what it looks really blocky, and then show you what that looks like in real life in an actual carb because if I try and draw the cross section of it it gets really complicated and messy and all, all the rest of it and horrible um, so the, this quick introduction, it's not an introduction, this is me just telling you about the videos uh, if you have a carb that you no longer want, it might be damaged, it might be fucked you know, uh, I don't mean fucked as in cracked in half but I mean you know it just doesn't work, it, it, there's something wrong with it or you snap one of the levers off or something's just wrong with it if you want to uh, you know, send that in for me to chop in half so we can use it for the videos, the more different types of carbs the better. Um, so just send me an email, send me a message on Facebook, you can make, add me as a friend on Facebook, I don't mind whatsoever. Just send me a friend request and then send me a picture and say is this any good and then I'll say yes or no, I've got one that's like that or I need that, that's, that's brilliant, I need that one. The rarer the better. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. If you've got a carb that's fucked, that is complete, it has to be complete, it has to have all the jets in and all the rest of it. Otherwise, if we're missing stuff, there might be one thing that might be split. Some people might have a diaphragm that's broken, something like that. Um, there's some carbs I'm going to recondition really soon. I've been putting this off for fucking ages. Um, there's some ca uh, the ER5 carbs, there's a dude's, uh, dude sent me his carbs, we're going to recondition them. We're going to recondition the ones for the ER5. And I'm going to use my ER5 ones as um, examples of uh, other videos, uh, examples of how to do your float uh, levels, uh, different ways you can do that, um, different issues you can have with your carbs. The cool thing about this one that I've got up right now is I can also point out where shit and stuff can reside. People have a lot of issues when they clean out their carbs and then they go to put them back together and they blocked again, they don't run and people are like, I don't understand what I've done wrong it's because there's these little areas that I'm going to show you where shit and grit can accumulate once you clean it out, you're still not getting to it and then when you start flooding fuel through it again the shit that's gone, you know, the shit that's in there manages to block your vents, uh, jets, etc. Throttle bodies, if people have got throttle bodies as well please send them in, you know, you've got uh, an old throttle body or something that was direct in, uh, direct something that was injected, something like that, please send, you know, send me some pictures, I'll tell you if they're, uh, if I, you know, if I'd love to have them or what have you, and, uh, you know, if, if postage is an issue, give me a shout and I'll send it, uh, you know, I'll pay for the postage and what have you. Hope that makes sense, this is going to be quite a cool in-depth uh, series where I want to set up the camera properly so the sound will be really good and the lighting will be good and all the rest of it and we can have a right good proper look and I'll also use the microscopes and all the rest of it so we can have a good look at things if required. Hope that makes sense. 
The other thing I was thinking about, what I'm trying to do as well, is trying to sort out a way of where we can stick um, glass or acrylic, I'd much rather use glass, onto the carb so we can actually flow through that half of that carb. It won't be um, comparative to a carb because obviously we're doing half a carb, so instead of doing a, a whole cross section like this, we'll have a hole like this, obviously. But we'll try, I'm going to try and flow things through it. Uh, fuck around with different coloured smokes and stuff so we can kind of see the airflow through these carbs and what have you. Hope that makes sense. I hope you're going to enjoy this series. It's coming, it's going to come real soon. And I will see you in a bit.